Good to go. So here we are at Mera, just south, downstream of the dike uh, in Mera. Um, across there, uh, yesterday we found some of possibly the oldest sediments in Amazonia. Um, unfortunately, the site that we looked at in 2008 has fallen into the river just upstream because I guess it's been raining um, a little bit over the past four years, and that's washed away. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the sediment so we can't get to that site so we were really quite relieved to go across the river and find something exactly the same on the other side today you should be able to get lots and lots of samples from the new site we found and um, there's lots of wood mac fossils organic sediments keferas so it looks really 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 good and hopefully we'll be able to compare it against the original site we've already got which should be absolutely fascinating because it's on the other side of the river the purpose of the second site is to give us an idea about how the vegetation has changed across the landscape, both spatially and temporally. From the site we take pollen out of the sediments and this gives us an idea about how the vegetation has changed in response to the drivers of change such as fires and volcanoes and also landscape scale change over geological time. We measured up from the top to the bottom to begin with, mm -hmm. so we've got each layer we've got a depth for. Um, we started by trying to work back up from that, but decided it was quite impossible. So we've now got the base, le the base measurement and we're just ca taking off centimetres on the way up. And then we're making that the new measurement which we're putting on the sample bags. Sampling horizontally, so we're choosing a layer, selecting a layer and working sideways. So we get stuff that is all deposited at the same time and putting them into these nice little bags. Which Haley is labelling up. Uh, and then hopefully we'll gradually build up a whole sequence of samples through the whole layer and that will tell us how things have changed through the time that this is deposited through. So at the bottom we have the really old stuff and up here we have stuff that is relatively younger. So we think we found, uh, well we found a micro fossil, so a bit of tree, fossilized tree. This wood has fallen down. Um, landed in this swampy environment and it's just stayed wet for well however long it's been here it could be hundred thousand years because it's been wet and it's been saturated the whole time no um, decomposition has taken place so it's practically as it would have been when it fell down so hopefully we can take this back to the lab we can slice it up and we can look at the structure of the wood and identify what type of tree it was that was actually growing at this site a hundred thousand years ago. Ah. Whoa. Ta da! Oh, nice. Is that big enough? Can we get a second on that? Okay. I don't know if you can see in here, this is like right below an ash bed. And you can see in here all the different stems of the different plants where it's being just crushed by the ash falling on top, creating this really compressed organic layer of all the vegetation that was on the surface, which has essentially been preserved as a peat. So I imagine if you look across there at the vegetation out over here, and then you dump a lot of ash on top of it and just crush all that down, flat as a pancake, and then keep it wet for 100,000 years, that's what you get. So, how did it go today? It was good. We got a lot of samples done. Uh, sampled probably about a six metre long section, you say? Yeah. In total. So, a six metre long section, probably about a hundred samples in total. Uh, lots of wood mac fossils, a lot of tephra, and a lot of organic samples. So, it was a good day. What's up? The alternative is we just like go up to the wild and stay tomorrow.